It's actually very wise. And I'll tell you exactly how the exercise science people that uh, said the pump doesn't matter or you're wasting your time got that idea. And it was actually from a logical fallacy that's something like um, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. So just because there was no formal scientific evidence linking the pump to growth doesn't mean that the pump doesn't cause growth. It could have meant that, but it could also have meant it does cause growth, but we just haven't actually studied it yet. But when we actually started researching it, which was very recently, just a few years ago, now there are a few studies that directly show that the people in a research study, that in, even in session one, get the best pumps, grow the most. And there is also mechanistic data showing that actual cell swelling, when the cell is pulled apart by its own contents being at high pressure, actually causes muscle growth to switch on. So when you're getting a big pump in a muscle, you know some shit is going on in that muscle for sure. So if we're checking all those boxes on our way to getting a pump, the pump ends up being an amazing proxy for we're getting a fucking great workout. Sure. And never in my life have I gotten a fucking unbelievable pump and not gotten sore and fatigued in that muscle for at least a few days after. It's never happened. So in my experience, you probably want as many indicators as possible. Uh, I want to be able to have the highest probability uh, of knowing that what I just did actually worked. So not only do I want some rep PRs at really heavy loads, I also want to have a really big pump. If I have both, the probability that I'm not growing as much muscle as possible is very small. And if you say to yourself, well, if I do provide those, what's going to happen? Nine times out of 10, you're also going to fuck an amazing pump. But what I would say is this, just chasing the pump is usually good enough. And if you only monitor pumps, you'll get amazing muscle growth. But the combination is probably the best yeah. where you get your pumps by increasing the amount of load or reps in predictable exercises week to week to week until you deload and take it easy. I'll change the exercises and go back again. Get yeah. your best results by getting fucking psychotic pumps from shit that's a little bit more reps or weight every single week for a few weeks straight. That's how you check both boxes of progression and pump. And that's, that's how I would do it.